Whenever we adjust a, a sensor, whenever we recalibrate a sensor, we need to get the console into calibration mode. Basically what we need to do is remove the rear cover and come to the lower left-hand corner and there's a switch down here for calibration. You need to go ahead and turn that on. And what you'll notice on the screen once you've done that is it now says warning, calibration switch on. This needs to be done any time you, would, you calibrate any of the variables, whether it's angle, length, or the transducers, or if you're on the phone and we're actually making an adjustment to a load reader. We're going to go ahead and do an angle calibration, and before we do that, we need to determine when we need to go ahead and check it. If you believe your angle is giving you an incorrect value, you would want to go ahead and measure it and determine whether or not we're actually uh, showing you the wrong angle, and that's the first case. The second time when you would need to replace, uh, redo the cal is if you replace the circuit board up here. The circuit board contains the values for both length and angle. So if you have to replace the board due to a, uh, any other reason, you would need to recalibrate both length and angle. In order to calibrate the angle, you need a digital angle level, uh, such as this. So what you would do is lower the boom, you would attach your angle measuring device here, and take a look at what we've got for, our, for an indication. Now we need to get that value into the console. So we know what the value is on our digital level, and now we want to go ahead and calibrate our system. So we're going to push button number one, which is the mode button. We're going to scroll down and select calibration, hit the check mark. It's going to ask us for a password. The password is one, two, three, four. And that puts us into the calibration menu. So what we're going to do is calibrate the angle. So we're going to go to select sensor, make sure that angle one is highlighted, and hit the check mark. Now it's ready to calibrate the angle sensor. We're going to come down, hit select sen uh, zero sensor, and hit the check mark. And what we're going to do here is hit the check mark one more time, and it's going to highlight this block right here. And that is where I would now enter the angle which I measured off of my digital level. It, you do that by scrolling up or down with these two buttons. Once you have the value that you want, you can go ahead and hit the check mark. It saves the value, and you don't want to touch the console uh, but through any button selections while it's in the saving process. If you do, it may not actually save the data. We've just calibrated the angle, and that's all that we need to do. However, the best thing to do with this is to keep your digital level on your boom and now boom it up to 60 degrees and make sure that our angle sensor indicates approximately the same value as the digital level.